Welcome to Fake Breaking News. I'm your host, J. Michael Chamberlain. We begin with the sovereignty of the vote in the character of America no longer hanging in the balance. The Democrats have taken back the House Good Show. Following the inauguration, when temporary President Trump placed his tiny hand on the good book and promised to uphold the Constitution, Americans soon learned that Vladimir Putin had installed his supreme operative in the White House, Comrade-in-Chief Donald J. Trump. Presently, Mr. Trump's scurrilous attempt to hijack America via fear and division is coming to an end. From sea to shining sea, Americans are waking up and smelling the French roast and Siberian caviar. Recently, our sources spoke with another former Trump supporter, Christine Rayban from Mill Basin, New York. Christine told reporters that when she supported Donald Trump, she was coming from a very dark place, which is, of course, a euphemism for having her head up her arse. I finally came to grips with my racist leanings, Christine told reporters, when I realized how god-awful stupid Donald Trump sounded every time he opened his pie hole. The East Flatbush native added that her husband, Warren, Warren Rayban, is still a raging beanhead who supports Trump and needs to get back on his meds. This just in... Our sources learn that special counsel Robert Mueller will in fact be indicting Donald Trump Jr., Jared Kushner, and Roger Stone for colluding with the Russians during the presidential campaign. Indeed, the brothers-in-law and Stone are heading for the old Gray Bar Hotel where they will be sharing their days with Paul Manafort and a plethora of slack-jawed ne'er-do-wells. Apparently, Ivanka Trump will be joining Kushner Stone and Junior in the Huskow simply for behaving like a clueless, wealthy, dunderheaded grifter. Film at 11.